Hey guys, Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade and I am finally back to do a video. This video is my preschoolers homeschool lessons and activities for day 40. He is two years old, so keep that in mind as you um, look at these activities. If you've seen my videos before, you know um, that he's two and these are, these are just some preschool activities that I'm doing with him. Um, now, I just wanted to tell you guys, I'm sorry that it's been so long since I've done a video. It's been like a week or more than, maybe even a week and a half or something like that. But um, I have been sick and it's been crazy. I actually messed up my left eye, so I couldn't see out of my left. Actually, I didn't do it. It just happened. Um, my left eye, I couldn't see. It was really blurry for... Um, I won't waste your time with like all the details, but it was really blurry for about a week and a half. I had a corneal abrasion um, from when I took out my contact. And um, anyway, to make a long story short, I can finally see again, um, but it was awful because I could only see out of my right eye. So we were just like barely getting through school and um, that was crazy. And then I was also sick. I've been sick for a couple of weeks. And um, so we're just taking it one day at a time here. So if you don't see video, like a ton of videos in a row from me, you understand why now. Um, we're just kind of taking it slow. So <clears throat> anyway, but I'm going to do today's video for my preschooler. So let's get into it. Obviously, you can tell it's the letter M. Today, we are going to do Mickey Monkey. And of course, the song, you've heard it before. We do it for each letter. So this one would be Mickey Monkey Mickey. Monkey, monkey, M says mmm, 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 milk, moon, and money, mitten, mouse, and magnet, M says mmm, 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 mmm. Okay, so we'll use our poster, and I'll point to all the different objects, and we'll talk about, you know, that he drinks milk, and the moon, and money, he knows what all those things are, so we'll talk about those. Um, so then, um... I have, and that's an A Becca poster. I've been asked a million times where I got these posters. Um, the big um, animal posters are from, whoop, are from A Becca. So then, um, for the letter M, this is an A Becca paper. So uh, he will do this paper today. It's just got a monkey on there. So we'll talk about M, mm, M mm, says M, mm, capital M, lowercase M, capital M, lowercase M. And I'll let him decorate the M's. And then today, I brought out my son's, this is actually what I use with my kindergartner when he does handwriting, and you've seen it if you've watched any of my kindergarten videos, but I brought this out, it's just a salt box, it's just a bunch of salt in there, but I thought it would be really fun for him, because um, he's two and he just like loves, you know, little things like this. I have to do it with him, obviously be right next to him, um, but I put little pictures in there that all begin with M. These are from my beginning sounds letter activity. Um, I'll leave a link below where you can download this um, it has all of the letters for all the alphabet you've probably seen it in my other videos if you watched any of them but I decided to stick all the pictures in this salt box so that he can kind of just dig around he's gonna pick one out of the salt and then I'm gonna say mouse 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 begins with M mm -mm, mouse and then he'll have to pick another one okay mix he's mixing up the food m -m mix uh, a mix begins with M monkey monkey begins with M moon moon so anyway I thought it would be fun and then he can maybe just stick them back in there if he wants it's just a little cute little um, activity kind of fine motor he's got to use his little fingers to grab them and it's just something fun um, so and then he can also grab this out and then I can say okay point to point to capital M capital M point to little M little M and he can find them and then we can put them back in the box if he wants and then I also have our um, Letter stick, I will leave a link below where you can get these too. I have these for all the alphabet. You've seen them in my other videos. So I'm going to hold, uh, have him hold up the letter stick and then we're going to talk about capital M, mm -mm, capital M, oops. And then I'll have him flip it over, little M, capital M, little M. And he can hold his little letter stick today. Um, and then, so that is what we're going to do for his like phonics. Then for math, um, today's paper from a book that looks like this. I just basically take out the next paper in line or I'll pick one that I, I think I want to work on. Um, I don't really do that. I don't have the lesson plans for um, him because, oops, I'm sorry, because he's two and so I never, I never bought the lesson plans. I just figured I'd do my own thing, but I did buy the book. So this is from the book and we're, I'm just going to point to each one of these eggs and have him tell me the number. Tell me the number. Five, 
three, and he can do this. He can do all of them up through ten. Nine, six, four, nine, nine, eight, seven. I'm going to point to it, and then I'm going to have him look. What number is this? Nine. And I have him take his, his finger and make a nine. And then I'm going to say, okay, now we're going to color all the eggs that have a nine. So I'm going to have him try to color the eggs that have a nine. Nine, and I like to have him trace it with his finger. But, um, so he will do that, and then um, after that, then all we're gonna do is just some counting today. I have these, um, you know, I love numbers and letters, like any kind of manipulative that has numbers or letters. I have a million different kinds. I use puzzle pieces. If you can get puzzles that have numbers or letters, um, they're awesome for activities, and you've seen them in my videos, so you know what I'm talking about. But what I'm gonna do, these are, um, You've probably seen them in my other videos. I'm trying to fix this one. These are numbers that turn into robots, and I also have alphabet letters that turn into robots. These are so much fun. I think they're from Lakeshore Learning. And um, <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is just set them out, and I'm going to have him pick one. Okay, pick a number, and then he will pick a number. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's say he picks the number two. I'm going to say, okay, what number did you pick? He's going to say two. And then, um, then he's going to pick two bears. One, two, two, one, two, two. And then we'll do it again. Okay, pick another number. Okay, what number did you pick? Four, four, and then he's gonna do one, two, you get the idea, three, whoop, four. Uh, and he's gonna put I'm doing it with my left hand and I'm not left-handed so he is going to put four bears and you get the idea so he's just gonna pick a number and count out that many bears so that is what he's gonna do with that and then I also decided to um, pull out our animal um, magnets these are Melissa and Doug magnets I love Melissa and Doug I love their puzzles I love I love everything about Melissa and Doug because it's all Everything they make is wooden and it just lasts for a really long time. I mean, you can see these are in such good shape and I have five boys and they're still in pretty good shape. Um, so I just love that. I love that everything's made out of wood. So I'm just moving this out of the way so I can show you what I'm gonna have him do. So um, preschool is a great time to teach them their animals and um, like their, their animals, their colors, their sh uh, all those other activities, um, their shapes, uh, that would be math. But like all those other concepts that, um, you know, like this would be a science concept, their animals. But you get the idea, like what I'm trying to say, um, you know, their calendar, their months, their days, all those kind of things. So today I figured we would just work on animals and I'd have him grab one and put it on the cookie sheet. Of course it sticks because it's a magnet and he can say horse horse what's this shape this animal have him pick another one that's a goat and he can just kind of stick them to the magnet he loves to do this also um if you have you know obviously a fridge where they can stick we have a um our fridge is um what do you call it it's silver not silver it's where is my brain anyway it, you can't stick things to it it's um what am i trying to say you know what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't think. I told you guys, I've been sick and um, I just have crazy brain right now. But anyway, um, so anyway, we can't stick things to our fridge um, because it's stainless steel, there we go. And so we can't stick things to our fridge and so, uh, is it stainless steel? Yeah, it's stainless steel. And, um, but we can stick things to our um, dishwasher so sometimes I'll have them do there but anyway I'll just have them kind of go through and pick some and then say the names of them elephant horse uh, rabbit goat bear and then um, as he does that we can even talk about the beginning letters because especially if he pulls out the monkey I can say oh, look there's the monkey M was for monkey today mm -mm, monkey and we can also er er rabbit Horse, especially the ones that we've already learned. We already learned f f fish is for F. We've already learned k k cat. So we can do that. But also it just gives him um, practice with the animals. And then when he gets them out, I'm going to say, okay, 
Now let's talk about where they live. Now a cow lives on a farm, but does a bear live on a farm? No. Okay, and so we can talk about that kind of thing. And, and a lion, does a lion live on a farm? No, a lion lives in Africa, or you might even see him in the zoo. So we can kind of talk about that. And the fish, where does a fish live? He lives in the ocean. He lives in water. Um, so we can kind of talk about that kind of thing too. Who else lives in the water? And then I can have him grab, see if he can, you know, find the, the turtle or see if he can find the frog and talk about, you know, animal habitats that way. So this is just kind of fun. I love these little magnets. They just, you know, it's just a fun learning activity. Um, and then, you, you know, I can have him sort them. So, you know, he can sort all the farm animals in one group and all the, um, like safari African animals in another group and all the water animals in a group and stuff like that. So um, anyway, thought that would be fun. So that is what I'm going to do with him today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. See you next time.